How's it going party people? My name is Sputnik, and today we're watching some more Game of Thrones. This time we're watching episode 7, You Win or You Die. Alright guys, so things are really heating up at this point in the story, pun intended, because um, last episode we got to see Viserys finally wear the crown he deserved, and that was one of scalding hot gold. So that's where he is right now, probably six feet under, or I wonder if the Dothrakis bury people, I wonder what their rituals are for that. Anyways, what else happened last time? Ned figured out the big secret that we've all been trying to figure out as we've watched the last couple episodes, and it is true, alright? Joffrey is not King Rob's baby. He is a bastard. He is, um, is that technically a bastard? Whatever. He is the son of, um, Cersei's brother, okay? Jamie. I'm, I'm remembering names now, guys, alright? Which is just craziness. Um, but, you know... It's pretty fitting. All three of those, all three of them are pretty much garbage, so it makes sense that they're their own little fucked up family, you know? Amazing. Um, Cersei was really pissing me off last episode, and um, I know she was, why she was all over Ned's back. It's because he was getting close to the truth, and now I can't wait to see what happens when um, that gets revealed to all the other characters. And currently the king is out hunting, so I wonder what she'll try to do to keep that news from him. Um, I don't know how far he's hunting from King's Landing, so I guess we'll see. Yeah, and other than that, Tyrion escaped the Vale without having to take a little flight. Um, luckily, he got that guy. I don't know his name. Please stop touching the mic, please. Luckily, he got that guy. Yeah, that's what you get, all right? Get up here. Good girl. Yes, yeah, so Tyrion has successfully escaped the Vale. And now, you know, I don't know where they're going to go. Um, back to King's Landing, possibly, up to Winterfell. It's anybody's guess at this point. Yeah, so that's it for the recap. Now I'm wondering what this episode title means. You win or you die. These are all very cryptic titles. Um, that's something I've learned to um, realize as I've gone through these couple of episodes we've watched so far. Um, I'm not sure what it would be related to because I can't really guess any of the plot points that are coming up now because every character is kind of in a very, you know, in-between state like moving forward. I would think it's related to some sort of games or something, but I don't know. Um, it could literally mean anything. So I'm excited to figure that out when we watch this episode. Which is happening right now. Let's go. Man, I've missed this. I wonder if we're gonna get to see some more Jon Snow. Um, because we haven't seen him in a minute. I guess that's probably gonna happen a lot in this show. We'll uh, you know, check in on people and then not see them for a couple episodes. What is this now? I don't see anybody familiar right now. Attacking him was stupid. Indeed. Incredibly stupid. You hurt my boy, Ned. <laughs> Damn, y'all I was gonna ask if you don't have gloves, but that's ridiculous. That that probably just like cause more contamination. Oh, that's just the guts they're taking out. You gonna say something clever? Doesn't he always? Oh, say something clever. Come on, out with it. Catelyn Stark took my brother. Is this his father? Oh no, he just said my brother. He wouldn't say that to his father. Why is he still alive? Tyrion? Ned Stark. Oh, yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna come for the king, you kill the king. Except finish. Ned's not the king, but he should be. Why is he still alive? We're really watching this dude it wouldn't have just been part out a fucking deer or an elk or whatever the hell this is called. Spend too much Stag. time worrying about what other people think of you. Symbolism. There's definitely some symbolism here. Yeah, well, that's what you want people to think of you. Mm. It's the truth. When you hear that, he looks significantly less uh, blonde in this scene. A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of a sheep. Mm. How did they do this? Way of your recklessness. <laughs> I'm, uh, is this like a real deer we're seeing get a? Uh, I'm giving you hearted out right now. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. If not, it's amazing. Um, props. I didn't realize you placed such a high value on my brother's life. He's a Lannister. Mm -hmm. Might be the lowest of the Lannisters, but he's one of us. Literally. And every day that he remains a prisoner, the Looks less our name commands respect. Yep. So the lion does concern himself with the opinions. No, of that's not an opinion. It's a fact. Oh. Before long, I'll be dead, and you, and your brother, and your sister. And all Thinking of real children. long term. All of us dead. All of us rotting in the ground. It's the family name that lives on. It's all that lives on. I mean, yeah, they're like uh, nobility, so that's like the most You're important thing to the them. abilities that few men possess. What, being a dick? Served as a glorified bodyguard for two kings. One a madman, the other a drunk. And he killed the madman, I believe. 
So that's something. We could establish a dynasty that will last a thousand years, or we could collapse into nothing, as the Targaryens did. Oof. Ah, another blonde-haired family. I need you to become the man you were always meant to be. Not next year, not tomorrow. Oh, okay. Damn, you're putting a lot of... So who is this? He feels like, I don't know, like uncle vibes or something? I think when he was just talking about, like, the family members that have passed, that probably was the clarification of who he is related to him, but obviously he's in the same family. I've never seen him, like, show, like, respect or, like, care about someone's opinion of him that much. I mean, he again, he cares a lot about people's opinions, but show that on his face i've had worse my lady no you haven't bro to go home. <laughs> she's got a one-track mind mm -hmm. do you, Lord Stark? yeah what the fuck are you gonna do to it you gonna finish me off me here to pose me riddles i already know what it is has he done this before jamie would have killed him my brother's worth a thousand of your friend don't speak your ill of the king or your lover Ooh, let's go ned <laughs> Talk to her. Targaryens wed brothers and sisters for three hundred years to keep So th that's that's why they care so much about their family. Sister, we shared a womb. Oh, I forgot they're twins. Well, together we belong together. Oh my God. My son saw you with him, and you killed him. Tried to kill him. Ned, you're so smart, bro. Why would you need to say it to someone else before you talk to her first, bro? And they're all Jamies. In the rare event that Rob leaves his whores for long enough to stumble drunk into my bed, I finish him off in other ways. In the morning, he doesn't remember. You've always hated. That's ridiculous. She's strategic about this shit. Lean and fierce and black bearded. It was the happiest moment of my Holy life. Holy shit. I just noticed. Is she the actor that played the witch in the line the um, witch in the wardrobe? No way. Let me know, guys. Your sister was a corpse and I was a living girl and he loved her more than me. Damn. When Ned, just grab that off your shoulder and stab her in the neck. The truth. You must be gone by then. You and your children. Yep. Yeah. I will not have that blood on Don't give hands. them an ultimatum. As far away as you can, with as many men as Ned, you can. I don't know how this is going to end up, but she, you go, she's a lot smarter than you think, bro. This wrath will follow you. And what of my wrath, Lord Stark? You should have taken the realm for yourself. Such a sad mistake. So Ned could have been the king. I made many mistakes in my life. That wasn't one. But that wasn't one of them. Yep, it doesn't look like fun being the king. Oh, cause when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. You win or you die. Oh, wow. Sam. You know this shit is a uh, freaking taken right from the book because these this uh these lines are way too good. Why are we crying? Why are we crying, children? So where do they film uh, King's Landing stuff again? Because these palm trees seem to be naturally there. Are we just out in the foyer of... Oh, is this Roz? She made it. Good for you, Roz. Is he giving her a performance review on how she works as a whore? No, a little no, too fake. No, it's a little too. <laughs> Is that what they teach you up in the north? <laughs> and you, wherever you're from, you should know your employees' personal info. You be the man, and you be the woman. <laughs> like, go ahead. Who would have thought running a whorehouse would be this? You know, he'd be so run it so strictly. So Roz is the man right now. They know it's all just an act. Your job is to make them forget what they know. And that takes time. I'm trying to see what the symbolism of this could be, but it could just just be a straight up uh He's winning you over. Sex work scene. He's enjoyed his cock since he was old enough to play with it. Why shouldn't you? Why don't you join us, my lord? Mm -hmm. I'm saving myself for another. Ah. I do believe my lord's in love. Most of my life, really. He's still going after Ned's wife. The man that you wanted to marry. A northerner. With a jaw like an anvil. Ned Stork! Though I challenged him to a duel. I mean, why not? I'd read all the stories. She wouldn't even let him kill me. He's just a boy, she said. Sam, the ultimate cucking. He got himself killed before the wedding. Okay, so this wasn't Ned. And she ended up with his brother, an even more impressive specimen. Oh! Good. Well done, you've passed your test. You're hired. I'm not going to fight them. I'm going to fuck them. I knew it! I was like, what's the symbolism here? That's what I am. Yeah. And only by admitting what we are can we get what we want. Hell yeah, little finger. Yeah, all right, let me pause, let me pause. Oh, in the scene where he's like instructing her on how to be sensual and um, to make a man, you know, like you or whatnot. He's basically saying like, you know, He's basically saying his strategy to appease the king or appease those in power. He knows that everybody, you know, just wants to be in 
a king or whoever's in charge knows everyone just wants to be in their position or everyone's just trying to literally get them off or whatever to appease them. But uh, Littlefinger, no, by studying this other form of it, you know, um, sex is like the way to do it. I, not just sex, sex but uh, sex with a, a whore or whatever. It's like, or a sex worker or whatever. Um, it's like knowing how to appease the person even when they know that, you, you know, they paid to fuck you. It's just like, a, what is it? It's the same thing as our wage slavery today. Like, um, our, the, our bosses or people you work for know they're fucking you by, uh, it depends where you work. Some of them, some of you might have great relationships with your higher ups or whatever. But the people higher up know they're fucking you in the transaction because, you know, your labor, um, obviously they're taking money from that labor or else you'd be working for yourself. So, yeah, it's like, I, I'm being too wordy. Anyways, what I mean to say is that Basically, him having sex with them is him say him making them forget that they're the one in control of the situation, or that yeah, that um, make it feel like they are in the powerful place. You know, you're you're just beating them off. You know, which hey, you know, he knows his role, and there's many different ways to get it in King's Landing, in Westeros, in the Seven Kingdoms. Let's keep going. Again, though, they better pay those actors. I wonder if they had intimacy coordinators back then for, like, the actors that have to do nude scenes because, ugh, I can imagine it would be stressful. Oh, so this is the girl. This is... Somebody let me know that this is actually the person that played Tonks in the Harry Potter, Harry Potter movies. And I called her Bellatrix last episode, which is hilarious. Where I come from, we don't show mercy to criminals. I would have killed you if I had the chance. Where I come from, if someone like you attacked a little lord. Little lord. The low tide would lay you on your back. Your hands and feet chained to four stakes. Sea would come in closer and closer. Uh, that's torture. Where's it you come from? The Iron, Iron Islands. Islands. Yeah. You've never heard where I'm from, neither. Hmm. Trust me, my lord. Oh my God! You're really trying to flex. You're not living in the wilderness anymore. <laughs> in civilized. Whatever. Land, you refer to your betters by their proper titles. And what's that? Lord. Why? It's so cringy to me. Yeah. The whole Why? hierarchy thing. You show respect by your actions, not by uh, titles to people. But again, that's I've, I'm thinking your in a modern way. I know this is How medieval times. Too? Ooh. I will be lord after my father. So you're not lord now? No, you... I'm lord to you. Are you having a go at me? Now nah, she's using your logic. She's getting technical with it. I don't understand how you southerners do things. You're from south of the wall. So she's a wildling. You're an impudent little wench, aren't you? Yeah, then why are you all up in her space? Leave her alone, then. Don't let him get too close to you, bro. He just lost to Roz. He might be getting a little too... Feeling yeah, a little lonely. Enjoy. Yeah, being creepy, bro. Lady is our guest. Yeah. Thought she was our prisoner. Are the two mutually exclusive in your experience? <sighs> Theon, what the fuck, bro? I thought he was cool. He, he, I'm saying he feels impotent with, like, the whole Roz situation and, and like, cucked in that aspect. And now he's trying to flex his power over whoever he does have. Meant to get much further south than this. As far south as south goes. Oh, she's running from something up north. Oh, the long night comes. The long nights. Why? What are you afraid of? Oh, and that's why they're the Night's Watch. Owls and shadow cats. I'm not talking about owls and shadow cats. The White Walkers. It wasn't gone, old man. They were sleeping. What does this remind me of? Harry Potter when they're like Voldemort's been gone but like for half the series and they're finally like he's back <gasps> he's back he's back like it's got to be right in the face they got to have a freaking 9/11 level tragedy for them to realize the wa uh the white walkers are back talking to them. I never talk to them oh my god sam you still going on about girls just looking at them oh hearing them giggle you got to adapt sam <laughs> you got to expand your <laughs> <laughs> Don't you miss girls? John, your hair is pretty long. Riders. Uh oh. The horn. We have to blow. Do it. Get to work, guys. Good, Let's good job. Go. See, he knows how to do his job. Is that Uncle Benjamin? One blast for a ranger. Oh no, Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben. The horse said, "Get me out of here, y'all." Oh my God, it's skidding around. Yeah, how do horses do in cold weather with the ice? It's gotta be rough. Hopefully there's like a letter on it or something. That's my Uncle Benjamin's horn. Oh. Ugh. We were hunting a bull. No. Is he gored? 
I should have spent more time with you. You dumb fuck. I was never meant to be a father. Bro, don't say that to him on your deathbed, bro. Give him something better than that. He's gonna be an even more of a little piece of shit if you don't give him some words to live by. Oh my god. I had a feeling he wasn't long for this world. I'm not gonna lie. It's such a fitting end for his character, too. To not to go out in some big blaze of glory like he, you know, said he wanted to or whatever. Just being in this lavish, you know, place that anybody would wish for in the Seven Kingdoms and being like, no, I need to go out and kill something. And even though he had a hunting party with him, even though it was like a controlled kill in ways. So much why. Exactly. He got killed by nature. Are there, I don't think any one sigil is a... Uh, Oh, they tried. They can't even Sticks. sew it up. Yeah. The best they could do back then is, like, amputate shit, and you can't amputate your fucking gut. I leave us a lot of you. I need to talk to Ned. She Robert, my sweet. Shut Ouch, up. All of you. And watch Ned not want to tell him because he's dying anyway. Because he's that nice of a man. What are we going to What the fuck are we going to do now? And who is next in line when the king dies? Damned fool. Exactly. Oh, man. See, that's the worst part about living back then. You <sighs> had to write everything out. You couldn't even... The house Baratheon. First of... You know how it goes. Fill <laughs> in the damn time. <laughs> to serve as Lord Regent and Protector of the Realm upon my death. To rule in my stead. He's putting Ned in charge? Until my son Joffrey comes of age. Wow. Wouldn't you need a note, someone there to prove it? He's not going to go right now, is he? Oh my god, his penmanship is immaculate. Holy shit. That might be Ned's one of Ned's better qualities. Yo, let's bring someone in here so they can't try to contest that that's what you said. That's what I was going to say. You can't, it, it sucks being in the past that you can't record shit like with a camera. You were right. Varys, little finger, my brother, worthless. No one to tell me no but you. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying... At least he knows in the, on his deathbed the truth. His ego is kind of sliding away, out of the way, so he can. So we're not going for Daenerys anymore. Help him, Ned. I don't think he's going to want to listen to you. Me. These are last words. I still feel bad for him, even though he was. Me the pain. Let me die. Might as well drink some more since you're already on your way out, buddy. That was your favorite. That's what led to your death anyway. Give him milk of the poppy. Is that like t to make him go down easy? I found him. Nah, he failed himself. He made those choices. No man could have protected him from himself. Whatever arrangements you made. I feel like those arrangements are still gonna go through. I'll make them at once. Yes. I'm afraid those birds have flown. Ah. Girl is likely dead already. Alright, can we see this episode how it goes down? I uh, can't wait. Not that because I don't think she's gonna die, obviously. But I can't wait to see how this get started here we go oh my goodness i'm picking up a little bit guys i'm really glad she has like an actual family now you are king aren't you and i'm your queen i love you i don't need a throne it's against our customs i don't need a throne when i got you baby that's what I'm gonna start doing with the Dothraki scenes. I'm gonna start narrating them with my guesses. We will go home, I promise you. My brother. Oh, she's trying to get him to be ready to retake the Seven Kingdoms. I think you should rest on your laurels until the you have your baby. See, but your ancestor, Aegon the Conqueror. They are not gonna take out Cal, are they? The Cal. No right he sees them. The Cal is gonna die. Cause that's the only thing that. Well, having a few dragons makes things easy. God, Khaleesi's. I'm not gonna lie, Khaleesi's a uh, maid. Khaleesi. She is so fucking fine. I believe with I'm, my eyes. I gotta say it. Cool. Well, I'll come with you. No, no, don't trouble yourself. I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, snitch on you to come on. Use your mind, Daenerys. You know, you know where his loyalties lie. He just wants to get back home. He told you that. The spider sends his greetings and his congratulations. Why is he speaking English? They must have some good uh, schools there in the. You can go home. Vice Dothrak. They're saying, "Get out of here, bro. You're about to." <laughs> They're about to be raided. What are you gonna do, man? You've come to care about Daenerys. I can pay. I can give you this for an amazing deal. Come on, buddy. Shit or get off the pot. Name, but I'll try your summer wine. Just a taste. Is that poison? My lady, you are from Westeros. Oh, he speaks. 
Khaleesi of the so Rising these are, Princess of the Seven These are Dothraki people that don't know Princess. her origins? Rise. Dawn is swill, not worthy. Was that the poison that was supposed to take her out? The oh, oh Lord. Oh, uh, 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 no. Open it. There's a bomb in it, guys! Why are you putting him on blast? Homie's just trying to get paid, y'all. Sure, he was willing to kill da uh, Daenerys, but what about it? At least giving it time to breathe. Do as he says. Uh, I'm glad he's actually sticking by Daenerys now. Because you should know, she's going to be the one that takes over the Seven Kingdoms at this point. I don't know, I feel like... But now Ned's going to be in charge, and I don't want them going against each other. And now she's going to be mad at Ned! When Ned wanted to save her. Oh. You first. Oh my god. I love these tight shots. Holy shit. I'm afraid I am not worthy of the vintage. This guy is a good actor. Outside of the show and playing in the show. Someone that's pretending to. Oh my god. Her eyes are so intense. Holy shit. He's got to throw it in her face and run. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, whoa, the whip. Nice. I thought they were going to, like, use their hands. Oof. You came to us <sighs> as outlaws, poachers. Graduation day. <laughs> Such a dreary graduation. I love how John has the only um, white coat. You're allowed to look happy. <laughs> Why would we? No one else does. be a ranger. Oh. But Bunk Uncle Benjamin's dead. I want to find my uncle. He's... Let's hope he's still alive. He's alive out there. No, he is. The fact that the horses know how to return home is cool. You begin anew. Do they uh, throw up their uh, coats when they officially graduate or man. move their sword from one hip to the right? <laughs> the seven have never answered my prayers. Ooh. Perhaps the old gods will. Cold. Oh, so we're going north of the wall. To the stewards. Rangers, Valiant stewards. To the rangers. John to the stewards. Whoa! He's a ranger. What the fuck? I'm assuming a steward would just be like someone that no, upkeeps House Black or whatever. Castle Black. Yeah, he definitely did it. That fucking hater as drill sergeant definitely uh, was the one. So they all have to stay at this area. <laughs> I gotta see that nose now. Be his damn maid. Do everything else. The Lord command. Now I get why he's mad. I refuse. Do you take me for a servant? We took you for a man of the Night's Watch, but perhaps we were wrong in that. Mm. You'll know everything. Be part of everything. That's not Ned's lot in life. That's not what he wants. I mean, Ned. Um, John. He wants to be like Uncle Ben. I always wanted to be a ranger. Yeah. I always wanted to be a wizard. <laughs> Those don't <laughs> exist in this world, right? What? A moment. Has he passed? Alone, if you will. What do you have to say? He's like, I want to be king now, and my brother is dead or dying. Stannis is your older brother. This isn't about the bloody line of succession. He's trying to make his move. What's best for the people we rule? I don't know if you have that in mind. I mean, I hope. He's not a king. I am. Mm. He's making his move. I was just thinking, every, every a lot of, there were a couple people to him and Stannis is a commander. And the Targaryen boy He's that had into ulterior motives on that uh, trip. And dragging frightened children from their beds. Ugh. These are about to get bloody. Yes, my lord. If I was dead, I would be so just yes. freaked out. I would have like 10 guards on me at all times at this point. So, when the king dies... The throne passes to his brother. Stannis Baratheon. Lord Stannis. So, why is Ned trying to... So it would seem. And what is so bad about saying this? Ned is... cannot take the throne without your help. You would be wise to deny yeah. it. Yeah. And to make sure Joffrey succeeds. <sighs> Ned is trying to play by the rules. You are now Hand of the King and Protector of the Realm. All of the power is yours. You need only reach out. Ingra yeah. Make peace with the Lannisters. Release the... Em but... Wed your daughter to Joffrey. Oh. We've plenty of time to get rid of Stannis, and if Joffrey seems likely to cause problems when he comes into his throne... You're messing with Ned's morals. ...his little secret and seat Lord Renly there instead. We. Oui. You'll need someone to share the... Oh my goodness, everybody's coming at him left and right, trying to get their little edge in to get power. Make peace with the Lannisters. He's fucking Ned right now. He's trying to make Ned feel like he wants it. Stop smiling. You know what you want me to do. You know it has to be done. But it's not honorable, so the words stick in your throat. What does he want? 
Ugh, Ned's gotta get his hands dirty. This is... This is some rough stuff. So are these all the people that, uh, pray to the old gods or what? Or do they just need a party to go to wherever they need to go? This is our first time north of the wall though, guys. Other than the opening scene. Whoa! That's a tree? I thought that was a mountain up part. They stand up as men. Rise now as men of the night's watch. Okay, they did it. <laughs> Shaky start. Good job, brothers. All right, get back behind that wall. Oh my God, a limb. No, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Uncle Benjen. Man, we better not find out Uncle Benjen's dead like this. Oh my goodness. I feel bad rise, for this guy. To for I mean, he did, again, try to kill Daenerys, but like, everyone's just trying to get their bag. Now that my brother is gone. He will never leave you alone. Uh, all these misunderstandings. He will never abandon that. No, uh, yes, he would. He's dead. Hungarian. Guys, just let it go. I like her security guard, though, too. Oh, man. Papa's home. Oh, he's not going to be ki take kindly to him. Oh, man. He was just doing his job, Cal. Have mercy, Cal. Oh, no. Oh, we're so worried about you, babe. Are you okay? You. Thank you for saving my wife. I trust you. Thanks. <laughs> I don't want to know what I would have done if I had lost you, baby. I'm nothing without you. <laughs> this means war. We will not let this go on in our kingdom. We are. We must go to war. Yeah, this is a war speech. <laughs> We will take our rightful control of the seven kingdoms. Our God, what God <laughs> owes us. Oh my God, he's going ham. I'm not even trying to do subtitles right now. He is, he's saying we're going to rip the king limb from limb. But I still back. The whole seven kingdoms shall be under control of the cow. See? Her coming to him before. Just asking nicely to do it. Her being threatened is what got him this riled rile up and ready to fight. Oh my god, we're riding already? Where are we going, folks? Oh my god, are we gonna drag him? Oh my god, what is it? King Robert is gone. The gods give him rest. No. No. He's not king. See, Ned, you should have kind of listened to Littlefinger. Littlefinger, you bitch! You betraying bitch! Or did he? All is accomplished. The city watch is yours. Lord Renly joining us. I don't know what's happening, y'all. I'm scared. Lord Renly has left the city. Oh. Through the old gate, an hour before dawn, with Sir Lord. He's going after um, Stannis. So now we got places north, east, south. I wonder what's west. Maybe the Iron Islands. That's no, probably to the east. My guess would be southeast. What do we got now, folks? What do we got now? We stand behind you, Lord Stark. Good. Again, I hate seeing Ned limping like this, man. All hail his grace, Joffrey of Houses Baratheon. Get your little bitch ass off that throne. The first man, no, he is not no damn the king. Kingdoms. Get your ass down. Protector of the realm. He ain't protecting shit. Couldn't protect himself from a little direwolf. Cersei, fuck off. Make all necessary arrangements for my coronation. Nope. I wish to be crowned within the fortnight. Nope. Today I shall accept oaths of fealty from my loyal counselors. What are we doing, Ned? We're not bowing to this little bitch. Lord Eddard Stark is herein named Interim King. Protector of the realm. Yep. To rule as regent. They're not reacting. They already knew this was going to happen. Oh my god. Yeah. May I see that letter, Sebastian? Shut up, Cersei, you fucking. Ah, oh, I hate her. I didn't take any notes this episode, y'all. It's because I pretty much know all the characters is this at this meant part. to be your shield, Lord Stark? Those were the king's words. Yeah. We have a new king now. Let's see, they're already going against what's right. Bend the knee and swear loyalty to my son, and we shall allow you to live out your days in the grey waste you call home. Oh. Your son has no claim to the throne. Exactly. Liar! You condemn yourself with your own mouth. Shut up, Draco. No, Sir Barristan. Barristan is a good man, a loyal man. Do him no harm. Kneel, Sir Barristan. You think he stands alone? 
The mountain. Kill him. Kill all of them. I cannot. Shut up, bitch. Escort them back to the royal apartments and keep them there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Men of the watch. Yeah, they should have. They should have moved yesterday. Littlefinger was right. Tell your men to lay down their swords. <sighs> to die. Please. She doesn't care. Don't. No. Oh. Whoa. What happened? Is this a coup? Oh no! I did warn you, you not to trust fucker! Me. You fucker! <sighs> Don't do it. You're lucky the song is fucking cool. Ah, uh, man, get out of my face, Game of Thrones. Get out of my face. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong this episode, guys. I want to cry. And what the hell? Again, I knew I shouldn't have trusted Littlefinger, but also, he did give Ned that one chance. See, Littlefinger, I'm saying, oh my god, it's like, it's. I can't even call it like a game of chess. Because in a game of chess, like, the people are only like, I don't know. It is kind of like a game of chess, I guess. Yeah, because even when you're, like, not moving and thinking about something, your opponent is thinking about an, uh, another way to, like, move or whatever. I except, here's all, how I'll say it's not like a game of chess. It's 40 chess or whatever. Because there's only two sides of chess. But in a Game of Thrones, you've got everybody's different self-interest is interacting. We have, so we have Littlefinger's self-interest. We have Cersei and, um... Um, Joffrey's self-interest. Probably Jamie would fit in there, too. You got King Baratheon's self-interest, um, which kind of aligned with Ned's, so that's three. You got the Targaryens and the um, uh, Dothraki's self-interest. And then we also have um, Stannis. I'll write that down as a note. The only note for this episode, because I was so enthralled. Um, Stannis. Um, Baratheon. Um, and he's in the... So, self? Um, so he's the rightful, rightful heir. Full heir. And yeah, see, like, last episode they gave us that hint, man. That, um, Tyrion, um, getting the guy to fight for him. Like, you, uh, you fought, he, he fought with honor. That, look where that gets you. And yeah, like, Ned fights with honor. And look where it gets him. <sighs> it's that we empathize with Ned that makes it hard but like yeah just expecting her to go reasonably and just trying to honor um rob and all that like she didn't give a fuck about rob but you talked about it earlier in the episode like should have told rob on his deathbed i, I know it's fucked up but like if you want to stick straight to the truth like i don't know he just cares about the moral and like the ethics of everything when in a game of thrones you gotta try to think you have to be able to put yourself in the mindset of your enemy to stay a, a little bit ahead. Because if not, yeah, if not, shit like this happens. You get double cross. Oh my god. Ugh. And then Littlefinger, of course, he goes where. What, what did he say about. I said earlier he fucked Ned, and that's exactly what he did. Um, like, just like a whore, like, you're gonna go to the next man that um, gives you the most money. Just like, um,. He was saying about the king, like, you'll go to whoever gives you the most money for your services. Like, he just wants control, and he'll fuck Ned in the pleasurable way, or he'll fuck him in the way, yeah, where he's in charge. Really great episode, though, guys. I'm <laughs> feeling emotional about it, but that was an epic episode. I'm drinking. I didn't take many notes, only that one last note at the end, because I was so enthralled with it. Um, we didn't get to see anything about, um... Tyrion and um, Ned's wife at this point, so there's that. Nothing about um, Bran, um, but we did see um, Theon being a bitch. Um, Theon try to come on to that uh, slave girl that they have, or servant, or because they don't take slaves or whatnot. Like I could sense that energy from him. I, I don't know what he's gonna get up to, man. He, he I, I thought he'd be on a good path, but he seems like a mess. Um, and Roz is. She passed her a, a lot, a, a lot of graduations this episode. We see uh, the Knights um, uh, Watch, uh, our favorite Knights Watch people graduating, and we see Roz graduating to become a King's Landing whore. Congrats!
Um, I don't know. Other than that, I don't know. What what am, what am I thinking? Honestly, it's just fuck Joffrey. <laughs> like, that's what it is right now. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to want to watch another episode right now, back to back. But I need to get this out because I've already been behind on the uploads. Um, yeah, it's just such a cliffhanger. I want to get right into the next episode. So, yeah, guys. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other questions I have for y'all about this episode. Um, I guess they'll probably tell me where Stannis... Um, what he is, um, in charge of or where he is in the South. So maybe don't tell me if that's a spoiler, but, um, yeah, I hate seeing Joffrey up there on the throne. He's just such a fucking, it, it, it's so weird seeing his wife, um, um, Cersei to the side of him. Like she's fucking, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tilda Swinton was the woman that played, uh, the, um, that's not Tilda Swinton, obviously, um, Cersei's actor. Um, so yeah, I was wrong about that, but I guess she looked a little bit like her in that scene. Anyways, is Tilda Swinton even British? Whatever. Um, Tilda sounds like a British name. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Game of Thrones with me. I was, I probably went through the whole emotional spectrum in this episode. It was a mess. I was a mess. I'm loving the show though. I'm so glad we're moving through this season. We got three episodes left of the season and i'm not ready y'all what's gonna come next but yeah we had some great sets great um just acting this episode and i wonder where the dothraki are headed that's what i'm thinking about where are the dothraki headed now that was a big rousing war speech and it looks like they're headed to war but right right up like they're really pulling up just like that also um what's his name uh what's your name's uh right hand um that had been uh you know working undercover you know giving the information to king rob and stuff um he he switched sides man he, he i guess he came to as um the series said he, he'd come to like um um daenerys so he he's sticking by her and maybe just like a little finger he's going where the power is who knows Ugh, i hate little finger now what a bitch um i wonder where uh what's his name is on though big ear or berries wonder what he where his allegiances are that'll all be um revealed to us in time but um let's hope her you win or you die mindset does not um come to be true for ned let's hope um i, I hate cersei so much and all right I, i'm rambling i hate them and i can't wait to see them get justice we'll go i'll have all these thoughts and more in the next episode and so I would really appreciate if you guys subscribed and stuck around on the channel because it's coming up. You know, the rest of Game of Thrones is waiting ahead of us. And I'm so excited to watch it with you guys. Also, don't forget the full reactions are on Patreon. You're being loud. I'm trying to react. Come here. Come here. Come say goodbye to the people. All right. The full reactions are out on Patreon. Um, so, yeah, if you're interested in watching everything I had to censor out or just do it in a watch along format, of course, um, Patreon link is in the doobly-doo it's below me right now you can see it probably peeking above it's right above the comments you know where it is all right folks i'm rambling um thanks for watching with me though what's next What an episode, huh, doggo?